I can remember. So my favorite, favorite drink container, anything to make my life easier. Hello everyone, welcome back. So today's video is going to be an Amazon must-haves for toddlers. So I asked you guys on Instagram because I've had two videos planned. I just didn't know which one to film first. And I said, do you guys want to see an Amazon must-haves for toddlers? Or do you guys want to see a must-haves for like two kids, such as like strollers and all that stuff that make your life easier with two kids? And it's actually was kind of close, but Amazon must has for toddlers definitely one so we're gonna talk about all my must-have products for the little ones in this video everything that I talk about is linked down below and also since I am doing the must-haves for two kids in my next video I would actually like to get a couple recommendations from you guys that you recommend to people and I would love to share a few of them in that video with a, like a screenshot of your name and the product and all that so if you guys have like your holy grail products for siblings and having two kids that make your life a lot easier let me know in the comments down below and I will share them in the next video but anyways without further ado give the video a thumbs up hit the subscribe if you're brand new and let's get into it okay so I'm totally hyped right now and it's from this baby right here prime sent over some more of their drinks and these are so good it's their energy drink it's strawberry watermelon oh my god mmm I love the taste of these. I also love their electrolyte drinks too. And they also came out with little packets as well. Not sponsored. They just sand them to me. And yeah, I'm just appreciative of it because I love them and we go through them so fast. All right, so the first product that I have for you guys here is this little writing tablet. This thing is so cool. You can get it in like this coral pink and also blue. Kinsley is obsessed with this thing. I remember my mom got it first for Caspian and then she got it for Riley and now it's kind of become Kinsley's and the, like all the kids have just been absolutely in love with it. It's so neat and I think it's a good like fun little activity for them to play with in the car, play with at the restaurant and stuff, especially if you're trying to limit screen time. They have a lot of fun with this, but you basically can like draw all over it, makes it like a rainbow and then you hit this little button here and watch. Boom. It's gone. It is so stinking cool. It's a great gift idea. If you're gifting something for a little one for a birthday party, it's also just great to get your kids. It actually comes with like a little holder as well for the pen, but I don't know where it went. <laughs> it's somewhere in the playroom, but yeah, so these two things go together. Again, it comes in pink and blue. Okay, so sticking with the toys, I've got a boom box here. So we actually got so many boom boxes, so many microphones for Kinsley for her birthday and for Christmas, you guys. Everyone knows how much Kinsley loves to sing. Loves to sing. You know what she loves even more? Moana. So she is obsessed with Moana. My sister got her this one for her birthday. I think my brother got her Blue's Clues. Or no, I think she got this one for Christmas from my sister and got Blue's Clues in the same type of thing, but it's Blue's Clues for Christmas as well. And then she also has a single microphones too. But it plays the music, watch. Let's see, and you can also hook it up to your phone and play music through it too, but you can talk, watch. I think at the edge of the water yes, I can remember never really knowing why yes so that is it right there super cool Kinsley will carry this all around the house and start singing and dancing to it it is the cutest thing she also carries the blues clues one around it is so neat so definitely think this is a fun one for the little toddlers they have a blast with it and also the the microphone can just hang in. Woo. I don't know if you guys can see that there. Now I'm in focus. But the microphone just attaches right in the back. And then you can also adjust the sound as well to low or high. All right. So another toddler must have is an iPad case. So if you're a little one, I mean, the kids, they're going to have a little bit of screen time. I mean, it helps us stay a little sane too and try to get stuff done and clean the house a little bit. I have no judgment with screen time. I am not super crazy with it. The girls have little tablets. And the I always get DMs asking me where I get 
their cases from. So if you go to Target and stuff, they are so expensive and they are not great at all. The places to go is Amazon. So you can get this one in so many different colors. I ordered like four of these for like Bo, Max, Riley, and Kinsley. Um, Max and Kinsley have pink ones. And since, because of that, I have these little name tags. So this is Kinsley's, but also like Kinsley's screen, I have the picture of me and her on it. And then Riley's is purple. She has her name on it. Bo is blue. And then Max is pink as well. Um, but yeah, these things are great. Like literally Kinsley has seen me toss like, <laughs> like stuff down the stairs, like over, cause I can't carry everything. I'm literally a pack mule going down the stairs with everything. And she's seen me toss like, you know, like a jacket or something like soft down the stairs. So the other day she decided, cause she's like, I can't walk down the stairs with an iPad. So she decides to go and toss this over the ledge of my stairs. And I'm just like, Oh my God. So that is like a perfect example of what we model to our kids is what they learned. So I learned, I'm like, not doing that again. Um, and it survived and it did not crack. So telling you that this case protects it so, so well and is definitely a must have. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so another must have, I'm gonna show a picture of it here because it's way too big to bring up here, but it's an easel. The kids love the easels. You can get it off of Pottery Barn, you can get it off of Amazon. I actually found it on Amazon cheaper than what it was on Pottery Barn. I remember when I was like looking for it and I was like, oh my God, it's way cheaper on Amazon. It's the exact same thing. So definitely always, like that's one thing I love about online shopping is you can kind of compare prices and you're not doing any impulse buys and you can also search discount codes. I do it all the time. So I definitely recommend an easel for a toddler. I think it's a great little gift. I think it's a good gift because you know like for every Christmas or something like that, you want to do like a little big gift for them. And I remember for Riley, I think it was her second Christmas I got it for her. And it's a good little big gift. They have so much fun with it. It has painting and drawing on one side. You have a chalkboard on the other and it's got little spots in it for paint and everything. So the girls love it. They have so much fun with it. I actually have to really watch now because Kinsley literally wants to take the chalk and draw over all over my house with it. So the chalk is up right now, unless she's being like very much supervised. But other than that, like they absolutely love it. I think it would be really fun to move it outside during the summertime, put Kinsley in her diaper and let her just go crazy with the paint. And that way I can just like hose her off afterwards. I think that would be a fun activity for her. It's kind of like what I did with Riley back in the day. I would put paint and everything inside of the little kitty pool and put her in her diaper. And I would let her just paint like crazy because when we were during COVID, it was around Kinsley's age and we were stuck indoors. And I'm like, it's beautiful outside, let's get out. So we go in the backyard, go in that little pool and she would paint like crazy. And then I would fill up with water and she would just rinse right off. It was amazing. So definitely an easel is really, really fun for them. Okay, so next up I have this really fun little bath toy right here that you can actually get in so many different colors on Amazon. They actually have it in a really pretty like gray and pink color too. But this is a little elephant hose. So this just sits in the water in the bathtub and then you hit this little button. I don't wanna like do it and have water accidentally come out. But you just hold the buttons and it sprays water like a little shower. Oh my God, this thing is absolutely amazing. Especially if you have a little one that does not like you know, getting their head like dumped on, which I think is a lot of kids. It's just nice and soft on them and it does a really good job with getting the product out of the hair. I loved it for when Kinsley was a baby and she'd be laying in her little bath seat and I would use it just to like go on her belly and she loved it and then I would just do the back of her hair and just like, it was like she was at a salon and I still use it to this day and the girls just have so much fun playing with it too in the bathtub. So this is a great little product that they have so much fun with. Okay, so as we know with toddlers comes potty training <laughs> and it's the potty time. I know we're gonna start potty training Kinsley here in the summertime when it gets a little warmer so that way she can just be free and then we're gonna try it for a week and see what happens. I think she's gonna be a little bit on the easier side to be honest. That's what I'm, I mean, knock on wood, that's true. But anyways, um, when I potty trained Riley, honestly, like the easiest thing and the best thing that we had was the little potty seats that had the little step on it with the handles that brought them up to the big potty. I did the little, I had the small little potty, but she was never interested in it. Honestly, 
looking back at it now, I'm really happy that she wasn't into the little seat. It's because she would be so used to that than going on the big seat. And when you're out and about, they have to go to the pot. Go, they have to go to the bathroom and you're not going to carry around a little potty with you everywhere. I mean, let's be practical. And they got to get used to also the sounds, the flushing and everything. So you might as well just like teach them with the big potty. So yeah, the big little seat that we got from Amazon was awesome because it had a step, had handles. So she was able to get herself up and down by herself and she loved it so much because you know, she felt like a big girl. And then she got eventually bigger and she was just like, I don't want the seat anymore. So I was like, okay, we'll put the seat away. So now the seat is stored. We have one stored in the bathroom downstairs to the side. Kinsley actually likes to go and sit on it while you're going to the bathroom because she does not want to leave your side. And then I have the one that I used to have upstairs here in her bathroom is now like stored in the garage. So we'll be getting those out here very soon. But those were extremely helpful during the potty training stage. Okay, so next up is this guy right here. So I actually have this in the back of my car. I've had it back there forever since like Riley was in diapers. And this is the Munchkin Bricka out and about collapsible trunk organizer and diaper changing station. This is amazing. Like honestly, the best thing to have in your car is this little guy right here because then you know you have diapers on you 24 seven with wipes. There have been times where I got to refill the diaper bag with diapers and I open it and I'm like, oh shoot, I've got no diapers. But then I'm like, wait a second, I've got my stash in the back of the car. And it's also really helpful because I will also change them in the back of the car. Like when Riley was little in diapers, I would do that. And then now with Kinsley, I do that. And it's so much more helpful. And right here is, I actually don't use little case where you put the wipes at. I just use my own case for the wipes because otherwise they dry out. So that's a little it there. But I love the fact that you have like the little trash bag holder right here. I use, I had those you know, always in my diaper bag and with me. So I love it that it's easy to grab right there because I always tie up the diaper. And then you also have a changing pad right here too. And then you have like the compartments with little slots as well, where I always leave sunscreen, diaper cream, extra diapers, water diapers. I also always have in the back of the car a little duffel bag of extra clothes for the girls. So they have extra sweatshirts, extra um, pants, shorts underwear, every like socks. Like I've got everything extra in there just in case if we need it. Oh, also swimsuits. Cause there's been times at houses where we all of a sudden have swimming and they don't have swimsuits. So it's great to have something like that on hand at all times. And it's the best and it makes it really easy because I have a big SUV, so it makes it easy for me just to change the diapers in the back of the car. But that thing is so, so helpful. And that is like another little tip of like our tip that I have for moms is always carry extra clothing in your car at all times too. You just, it's always good just to have the backups. Okay, so now we're gonna go into like food utensils and stuff that I recommend that I've been using for years. So these are like tried and trues. We'll always keep on using these. The first thing is the Bentgo boxes. So you can get these on Amazon. There's all different types of designs and colors that you can get. There's also one by Simple Modern too, which I would also recommend. I'll link those down below. Those ones they have really, really cute prints. I've been wanting to get some of those, but I'm like, I already have enough of the Benko boxes. Like I don't need to go and buy more of the same thing. But if you are looking, definitely check out the Simple Modern ones because they have really cute designs. But anyways, these are great for lunches. So at Riley School, they do not offer hot lunch or anything like that. So I make her lunch every single day. And I love using these. We've been using these since Riley has gone to school since she was like 20 months old and Kinsley will use them too, but they're just really awesome. What I really like about them is that they're insulated. You can also take the tray out too for easy cleaning and then they could just eat with this as well to make it easier or they could just open it up and eat it like so. But I love the fact that you have all the different compartments here. So I'll usually put like her sandwich in here and then I'll do like strawberries up here, like a fruit, and then maybe some crunchy right here, you know, just a mix of things. And it keeps everything in place and it's super easy and it fits perfectly in the Pottery Barn lunch boxes. So I love them. And then they're just great also just to have, like if I'm going somewhere and I know they're not gonna eat the food, I'll pack one of these and I'm like, boom, I've got their food ready to go. So it's awesome. Okay, so next up we have 
plates. So I love, love, love the bumpkins plates. So this is one version of it. The other ones I have that I really like too are actually dirty right now where they have three. It's like a circle and it has three compartments. It's got two small ones and then one big one on the bottom. Those are the ones that we use a ton. But this one is one of their bigger ones and it also comes with a silicone cover so you could travel with it too if needed. But you've got two big compartments here and then like you know three little ones like with Riley like I'll do like dino nuggets I'll do ketchup up here because she loves ketchup I'll do different fruits and everything they'll just have you know just like little slots and they love it and also you can microwave stuff in here too which is great like I do the little mini pancakes that you can get at sprouts and stuff and I'll put them on there for like 20 seconds flip them put them for like 15 seconds and then just take it out and it's perfect and the plate's not hot so I love it and then also has that little suctioning thing to go on the table so it's not super easy to lift off and make it go flying because you know Kinsley's and definitely in that stage still so that is very helpful and they're easy to clean and they're dishwasher safe so I love these. I have so many of them and we've used them for years. Okay, so for our toddlers, they are still very much into their milk, you know, at one, they're still having whole milk too. They're moving down to 1% milk, but Kinsley loves her milk still. So what we do is we actually use these knuck ones where they're like kind of like the transition from the bottle, you know, and Kinsley loves it right here. So this one I just pulled because it was just cleaned. <laughs> but this is Mickey Mouse comes in Minnie Mouse, comes in pink, purple, blue, like all these different types of designs that you can get, but it's great for them. It's a great to get them off the bottle and then on transition to this and then eventually like a straw and a cup. Kinsley will use a straw. It's just that she really prefers. She's definitely a lot more challenging than Riley was with getting her off of like milk and the bottles and everything. It definitely is a lot harder of a transition. Riley was like this, like no transition was easy peasy. My second is a little bit more challenging, which is understandable. Every kid's different, but this is a really good option to get them off the bottle, which you want to do at one. And then, so we give her the knuck and then eventually we'll get rid of this and she'll just be strictly on her straw and her like sippy cups and stuff. But yeah, these are great, great for those milks and they love it. All right, so my favorite, favorite drink container for the kids is this baby right here. I have talked about this so many times. I have so many of them. These are the thermos drink cups right here. You actually have a little holder, like you can, a little handle, you can do it and then you open it and boom, you have your little straw right here and it's also, stainless steel so it's insulated so it's going to keep your drink cold which is great and the best part of this one too is that it is a more narrow bottle so it fits in all of the cup holders of the car seats and the car and the backpacks and lunch pails everything it fits so nicely into them because i am so tired of getting like kid drink containers that are way too big that do not fit in the cup holders and then they like are little like going ah, stop fitting like literally Riley I handed her one the other day that was a square and I should have thought about it and she's just like mom it won't fit and she had a complete conniption over it because it would not fit in her cup holder on her car seat so these will fit you guys and they also have like a cover so they're not gonna spill like these, these do not leak either. If you have them on the side, does not leak. Got them fully closed and everything. No leaking. Keeps the water cold. It's the best. And they have so many different designs too. So we've got the pink sky. You know, Riley's obsessed with Paw Patrol. We have Minnie Mouse. We have the blue Paw Patrol one. We have Avengers for Bo. We have LOL for Max. We have multiple different Frozen ones. <laughs> I wish that they actually had this kind in a Moana for Kinsley. But yeah, so these really hold up really well. And these are the best drink cups for kids hands down the best ones and I have a lot and I've tried so many different kinds these take the cake all right so last but not least is this little gadget right here I've had this for how many years like probably four years now I've had this thing forever it's a grape cutter it's from Oxitot Oxitot is one of my favorite brands but you just go boop 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 and you cut the grapes. It's so easy, you just have to make sure you don't buy like the really huge grapes because then they won't fit in there. 
but it's super easy and so quick. Like I remember I pulled out this gadget with Ross cause he was like slicing the grapes. Like, in, cause you know, you have to slice them in fours or choking hazards, like for a very long time. Like even for like Max and Bo, I still would not give him a full size grape. So he was chopping them and I was like, babe, babe, pull this out of the drawer, put it in there. I'm like, and he's just like, oh, well you think you're clever, huh? And I'm like, yeah. Makes your life easier. I'm like, anything to make my life easier and allow me to prep dinner faster or do snacks faster, anything to let me cut down time, I'm going to get it. And that's what this baby does. So it's a huge must have if you've got kids. It's the best. All right, so that was my Amazon toddler must haves. I hope you guys found it helpful. I will have everything linked down below. Comment down below, what are your toddler must haves? I would love to hear from you guys. And also don't forget to comment, like what are your must haves for multiple kids that have makes your life easier? I would love to share some of your guys' recommendations in the next video. Give this one a thumbs up and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.